Hello and welcome to Self-Built Camper Van. My name's uh, Tom and in today's video I'll be uh, showing the progress of uh, the work I have uh, done so far. Now not posted a video for a few weeks now. I lost the dog, the uh, dog was not very well and she had to be put down and uh, with the bad weather we have had with uh, Storm uh, Doris and uh, with, with the high winds and all the rain we have had it's been hard work uh, getting outside and uh, cutting wood and uh, doing any work at all but uh, we'll show you the progress of uh, what, we, what we're up to uh, so far shots of uh, some of the work that I have uh, I've done so far some of it on camera some of it uh, off of uh, camera but uh, we have uh, we've in insulated the van double insulated the van it's been ply lined all the door panels and uh, the sides the roof has all been uh, carpeted with a black black uh, stretchable carpet I've insulated the floor, put a new um, plywood uh, floor down. I've uh, put uh, black and white checkered laminate tiles on the floor. Already had to pull a couple of up because uh, didn't get the screws down far enough, but absolutely no problem with uh, with the tiles holding down. If anything, absolute nightmare trying to get them up, but with a big chisel and a big screwdriver, they came up no problem. Managed to do, drop the screws down just at that extra a millimeter and uh, absolutely no problem at all new tiles gone back down i fitted a reversing camera wireless reversing camera let's turn that down a minute got two meters on the amateur uh, bands but uh, reversing camera fitted i fitted a dual usb socket and a voltmeter on the dashboard so uh, when I'm driving I can charge the mobile phone up and also plug the sat nav in which uh, frees up the cigarette lighter socket, the 12 volt socket so I can use for either an amateur radio or, uh, or the CB or for uh, charging uh, anything else I have uh, fitted double USB socket, voltmeter and uh, 12 volt socket on the passenger side wall at the back. Uh, there is a cupboard fitted, carpeted inside, doors fitted, carpeted. I'm still waiting on uh, doorknobs and uh, magnetic catches. Door fitted on the back and uh, kitchen uh, unit uh, started but not finished. Fridges fitted and working. The cooker is uh, is all working, the gas is in the back and uh, secure and strapped in. There's uh, blocks of wood either side so uh, the gas bottle won't move plus a bungee to hold it in place. Uh, the water container is uh, is screwed in place, with, uh, with a, there's a strap screwed in place and I strap the water container in, it doesn't slide. Blocks of wood either side and it doesn't move, no problem over bumps and hills. Same with the leisure battery, that's fitted with a 140 amp volt sensitive uh, uh, relay 
So we charge as we drive, we have a 100 watt solar panel fitted on the roof with a charge controller, 15 amp charge controller and I also bought a watt meter so I can see what uh, the solar panel is producing. At the moment on a crap day, it, most I've seen it go up to is about, uh, about 50 watts so it, it does work. I've got the fridge running and uh, battery voltage is, is uh, pretty, uh, pretty good at the moment. The solar panel is uh, triple charging that battery. It takes a good drive to uh, charge the battery up. We have uh, four LED light fittings, uh, two watts per uh, fitting, uh, fitted in the roof. Now I was worried they wasn't going to be bright enough. If anything, they're too bright. I have fitted uh, some LED, little LED uh, red LED strip lights in the cupboards just for um, just for the effect. I've I have fitted I bought a five meter uh, roll of uh, LED uh, strip lights which I fitted on one side of the van going around the cupboards and uh, going along the where the sliding door opens following the tr the track where the runner goes I have followed that round and yeah it looks good. Um, still got uh, quite a bit of work to do. Tw uh, there's a main socket fitted for uh, for the laptop and charging. That goes down to a one and a half kilowatt in the inverter. I have fitted all LED light bulbs in the back of the van, including the indicators, which require a load resistor. Very very simple to fit, and uh, the instructions came with it. Bulbs were about uh, six quid a pair. And uh, the resistors, uh, I paid about uh, six quid for the pair as well. I've gone through 20 square meters of uh, carpet, and I have another five square meters of carpet on order. I'm going to uh, carpet uh, the headline in, in the van, and uh, still got doors to do in the kitchen unit to, uh, to finish off. Two doors on the front, two big doors on the back, and uh, I'm going to uh, try and make a, a little uh, drawer to go um, underneath the sink just for a cutlery and a few um, little bits and pieces. Now with the overnighter last night I did use a stove, made a couple of uh, two or three cups of tea and while I'm up on the Quantox this afternoon for a little bit of radio and to um, update the YouTube channel, give an update, I've uh, used uh, the cooker there and uh, made myself a cup of tea absolutely no problem. I'm using propane. Uh, obviously uh, certain times of the year uh, butane is absolutely useless in the, in the cold weather so I'll be using um, propane um, all year round. Done the fuse box, uh, neutral bar and uh, all wired up no problem at all, no faults and uh, yeah, it's, um, I'm not sure what we're what we're going to do next, but um, I'm back to work tomorrow night. Four nights at work, and we have uh, four four nights off. Then I'm heading over to uh, West Wales, and uh, up to uh, and up to Snowdonia, across to um, Anglesey, then over to um, Hollyhead. Rock and roll bed is uh, is fitted. Um, got the uh, one point. Yeah, 17 mil ply for nothing, a whole sheet and uh, a couple of offcuts, pulled out of a skip. Uh, bought a foam, I've gone for 4 inch uh, thick memory foam, popped into the next town south of me for that, ordered it, paid for it, went back uh, on my next set of days off and picked it up. Got some um, red uh, upholstery uh, to which I put on that, it cost me £33, the foam was about £86. Uh, the bed frame cost me £165 and I went through 30 odd, 35 litres of fuel driving up to Walsall and back to uh, to collect uh, the frame. So uh, that's that's what it cost me for the bed and it's uh, what I've done is I've put, I've put the foam on top of the boards which I've uh, cut out to the size of the frame, pulled uh, the upholstery over and uh, cost me £20 for a stapler and I have uh, stapled uh, stapled it together and then I have drilled holes through the frame and uh, used uh, the correct size uh, screws for uh, fixing um, the upholstered uh, the foam and the boards to to the frame. Just got to uh, fix that now through, uh, through the van and uh, get some plates underneath. 
Uh, we've still got uh, cupboards to make, storage cupboards to make underneath the bed. Got two storage boxes. Uh, just got to uh, box those in a little bit. And I will be uh, making a front to go underneath. And obviously um, a, a, a cupboard door or something. Uh, something will be going on the back. There'll be shoe storage or something in there as there is a little bit of space. Underneath uh, the seat on the passenger side. I'm looking at uh, putting possibly a little cupboard in there. I'm not not too sure yet, but uh, underneath uh, the driver's uh, seat, uh, passenger seat has got the back start a battery. Driver's seat is completely empty. So probably going to uh, make up a tool kit to go in there. Possibly some spare bulbs. Um, we're not too uh, sure on that that yet, but uh, we'll uh, we'll think of it uh, a little bit closer to the time. What I'll do now is I'll just uh, go around the van quickly and uh, show uh, show a little bit more detail than uh, what I showed in the in the in the short clip. Uh, just right, now. I've now fitted uh, this stuff in the in the in the entrance. Cost twenty four pounds for two meters, and it's just to uh, protect uh, the floor and the edge there as we're uh, walking in and out. We've started uh, the kitchen uh, unit. Uh, still got to finish it. We got uh, the sink and um, cooker unit uh, fitted, and uh, water container strapped in. Uh, we have a fridge unit uh, in, leisure battery, split charge. Uh, the cupboards are in the back. One big one at the bottom, access from the back only. One big one on the left hand side with a few bo fuse box and um, breakers for the solar panel and the main breaker inside. Small, uh, smaller cupboard on the right hand side which we have uh, two doors so we can still have access when uh, the bed is in the seating position. Cupboard below which we only have access to when uh, when the rock and roll bed's out. All our switches and uh, controllers, watt meter and detector is uh, on that wall. And uh, we have a uh, rock and roll bed uh, fitted, all upholstered and uh, done myself. Here's the view there from the back of the van. Cupboards there on the right hand side with uh, the door just down there. So you've got to stick the cupboard uh, door knob on and magnetic catches. There's uh, the cupboard underneath. We are going to have a second gas bottle inside and a uh, foldable chair. Wheel arches are now um, carp insulated and carpeted. Well, that's the update so far. Thanks for watching and uh, following me uh, through the build. And uh, please uh, subscribe, like and share. And uh, we'll be uh, back soon uh, with the next one. Bye for now.